Um, it's the day after the bank holiday. Um, uh, Julia came up this morning to the orchard. I was at uh, uh, my medical job and um, uh, last night um, somebody uh, took the trouble to dump this uh, large amount of, um, of waste. This is obviously a um, semi-professional operation. Uh, there's a large amount of this very heavy sort of plastic material, uh, pl uh, plastic material, it's like wax, it's very dense. Um, it'll probably be some sort of toxic stuff. It's an old spanner there of some sort. A uh, large amount of plasterboard, um, broken um, stuff, old MDF, uh, broken door. And a refrigerator, which will probably contain the CFCs. Um, now we have got local dumps where you can take this stuff, but if you're, you know, if you're a um, private citizen just uh, doing some personal stuff, then um, that's okay. But if you're a commercial operation, you quite reasonably have to pay some money. And rather than pay twenty, in order to save themselves about twenty or thirty pounds, um, or you know, to save themselves some some small degree of inconvenience. Somebody with quite a large van has um, driven out here and basically said, uh, I will avoid using any swear words that I feel like it. Well, the people who live here, they don't matter anything at all. Their lives, their well-being, their economy, their time is of no value whatsoever. None. And uh, we would just drop this stuff for them. They can clear it up. They can afford to do it. Uh, their time doesn't matter. Our time does. Um, Julia has contacted the local authority to whom we pay well over £1,500 a year in taxes and um, uh, some of those tax money, uh, that gives them an obligation to clear this sort of stuff up. Um, what did they say Julia when you contacted them? Well I contacted the police and this is an offence against the environment. Yeah, yeah obviously. Yeah. So the um, council do now take responsibility for this and they will send out, they said they'll be sending out a van with their environment team today to collect this because it's still here, they won't be coming this evening. So yeah. So in order for these people to save themselves a trivial sum of money dealing with this rubbish legally, they have incurred an enormous amount of inconvenience on us and a, a far greater cost on the council than um, would have than they would have hey but so you know why should they give a, a stuff they think they can do whatever they like regrettably there are a lot of people who take that view um all we can say is uh, they ought to realize like the rest of us say we'll all have to give account to him who sees everything that happens and you know on the scale of things this might seem a relatively trivial uh, event, but really and truly, I believe that people who will do this sort of thing will also fiddle their taxes, will also rob you, and when push comes to shove, they won't be very nice people to be around. Oh dear, how vile! Let's really um, put a damper on what was a very pleasant weekend, and of course now we can't actually, you know, we we can't move this stuff. We've actually got rid of our van, and you know, it'd be a day's work to move it. How? regrettable and deplorable.